Welcome back. This is another session for Sozo Basic. And this time we're gonna teach you about our self-protection mechanisms. And we call this tool the wall, okay? So what we do when we look at this is how do we protect ourselves? And the problem is, is that we tend to protect ourselves before actually God steps in to protect us. And when that happens over time, then we have this idea that we need to keep this protection in order to be safe. It doesn't actually keep out harm, but it kind of lets us know what harm is gonna come. So we're kind of like trying to control the damage of the harm. The problem is, is it doesn't just keep out those issues, but when we have a wall up, it keeps out what is good as well. So we learned this tool from Eiko Horman, and she was a scientist that studied a lot of the brain years and years ago, way before brain um, science was, was a, you know, even probably thought much of. And she taught us about how the brain works and how your thought processes kind of are like electrical currents and how you think from this jumps over here and arcs over into thought processes. It was her way of telling all of us who didn't know anything about the brain kind of an idea of what it is, or maybe my interpretation of it after all that time. At one point in this tool, we clap. And the reason why we clap is she says for the brain, it actually arcs over into a new pathway. So it like jumps and moves into a new pathway. So just so you know, as we go through that there is a clap that we will do in this part of it. So here's the tool. The tool is that you would have your um, Sozo we put their hand on the back of their neck and she said this is the reticular formation. At the time, it was thought that the reticular formation stored early childhood memories. And so what you're doing is you're asking the Lord to um, fix those early childhood memories in a certain way. You're not in a memory, but we're dealing with the effects or the belief system that happened and the protection that came up, right? 